Hello, friends, and welcome to another video. This week, we're gonna be testing out four different customized style boxes and seeing how well each of them recommend outfits to me. Now, I see subscription boxes, particularly style subscription boxes, advertised all the time online, and one of their most consistent selling points is that you're gonna save a lot of time shopping because they're gonna send you stuff you're gonna love and you're never gonna have to go to the store yourself again basically. It seems like you tend to either take some type of personalization quiz or communicate with a virtual stylist in some way, and then bada bing, bada boom, five to seven business days later, you got a box with some clothes in it that you're supposed to like. So I want to compare four of these style boxes that I've seen before against each other. So the four boxes are going to be Stitch Fix, La Tote, Wantable, and Trunk Club. So I'm gonna be ordering all four boxes today, and when they arrive, I'm gonna see what I got, if it was worth it, and if I like it. Okay, let's get started. So about a year ago, when I made my very first Facebook ad haul video, Stitch Fix was one of my Facebook ads on my feed, so I've ordered a style box from them before, but I didn't really get to like go into detail with it in the video because it was like part of a bigger haul, but I've dabbled. All right, so it says basically how it works is that you fill out a style profile, request a fix, and then you get to keep what you want. So you have to remember to send the things that you don't want back to them, which is the real rub, because that's hard to remember, to be honest. <laughs> So their style profile quiz has 51 questions and it took me about 20 minutes to fill out. It's got five different sections and they start with a section about your sizes and proportions. I would say my arms are pretty long. My wingspan is identical to that of a turkey vulture. So I would say long arms, yes. The second section is about the shape of clothes you prefer. They call it fit slash cut. I guess sometimes I'll flaunt my arms. back. I'll say flaunt only for special occasions. I don't like to wear special bras. I like to wear the same bras for years on end. I do wash them sometimes. The third section of questions is about style, in which they show you a bunch of clothing layouts and you basically say if you like or don't like them. Okay, I think this category is closest to my style. I see a decent amount of black and some boots, so I'm gonna say I love that one. Then they ask you how much you'd like to spend on the clothes, and then some last minute personal information like your occupation and your Instagram handle. Great job, Sophia! You finished your style quiz! Thank you, I feel very accomplished. So I've scheduled my fix. It's gonna arrive on February 10th, and then we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. All right, so the second style box we're gonna do is La Tote. I have never tried any of these other style boxes besides Stitch Fix before, but I think with La Tote, you rent the clothes, as in they like send them to you, you wear them, and then you send it back. But I think you can also still buy the stuff if you really like it. And once you've returned your tote, they'll send you your next one. So it's kind of like old school Netflix. All right, so let's build my style profile. So La Tote's quiz was a little bit shorter. It had 15 questions and it took me about eight minutes to fill out. The first set of questions were like multiple choice image questions about which styles of different types of clothing I liked. Capes! I don't have any capes, but I would definitely wear a cape if the occasion called for it. Or even if the occasion didn't call for it. I feel like if you give me a cape, I will opt for cape, yes. Beyond that, they ask you what brands you like and your sizes, as well as your zip code, presumably to account for your weather. Oh, is that it? I thought it was gonna like show me my forecast for some reason. I think they've just identified that it's a warm place. And then at the end, you pick your monthly plan. All of which are more expensive than Netflix. One of the features of La Tote is that you can go in and like swap out some of the items if you want to, but I wanna see what they've recommended to me based off of that quiz. So I'm just gonna leave it as is, but just know that you could swap stuff out if you wanted to. All right, so our third style box is Wantable. I have also never tried Wantable, but I think it's similar to Stitch Fix in that you take a quiz and then they send you a box of personalized clothes and you keep what you want and mail back the rest. Oh wow, they have a progress bar at the bottom. This seems like a long quiz. The first section asked me high level questions about my style, like level of formalness, size, shape. I think I'm more of a pair. Not so much up top, a decent amount of junk in the trunk. 
junk. Price preference. Is there someone who prefers to buy expensive stuff? And then the second section basically showed me images of clothes and asked me if I liked or didn't like them. I do like knee length and midi length skirts, but someone should tell them that those two skirts are exactly the same length. Which type of scarves would you like to receive? I say infinity or bust, man. Get me an infinity scarf or give me nothing. This was a very long section. All right, I think we're done with the quiz finally. They say, we have a style edit just for you. You will only receive products that you love or like, and I will not receive products that I dislike, AKA bracelets and sweaters. <laughs> I have nothing against bracelets and sweaters. I just feel like I don't wear them that much. All right, so I'm gonna sign up now and order my, my box tote. I don't know, they all call them different things. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to our last style box, which is Trunk Club, which I'm pretty sure is a similar service to Wantable and Stitch Fix, but it's owned by Nordstrom. All right, let's get started. So the Trunk Club quiz had 34 questions and took me about 10 minutes to fill out. The first section was a series of images of outfit flat lays that I had to choose if I liked or didn't like. Ooh, I would wear that. I like that Bordeaux colored moto jacket. And then they moved into more general questions like like which colors I don't like and which styles of clothes I do like. Which is your preferred jean rise? Hi rise, baby, meet me at the navel. Meet me at the navel, yeah. And then they also asked me how much I typically spend on clothes, where I usually shop, my sizes, and my age. What is this trunk for? It's mostly for like fun, and casual life. Does that make sense? All right, so I'm gonna share these details with my stylist and I've got one. They've assigned me one. All right, I'm just gonna say, hi, Emily. Can't wait to get my first trunk. I hope she's real and I hope she texts me back. It would be sad to be ghosted by the stylist that I'm paying. Anyway, so that is style box number four. So next time you see me, I will have all of my four style boxes and we'll see what's inside and try it all on. See you in the future. All right, so it's a few weeks later and I finally have all of my style boxes here. We're gonna start off with this one that I have right here, which is the wantable box. Let's see how many things they gave us and what they are. What is this? It's kind of like a satin red tank top with some straps. I've also got this. Oh, it's an affinity scarf. Next up, we have this blue top. It's like a blue lacy top. And then we've got this navy blue like tunic top. They gave me some sort of dark wash skinny jeans. Here's our first taste of black. It's kind of like a suede look moto jacket. I really like that. And then the last item is this dark wash distressed pair of skinny jeans, which looks pretty up my alley. I think we almost went from like things that were least up my alley to most up my alley as we went through the box. So Wantable sent me seven items with an average price of $65 per item. And they give you five days from when you receive the box to send back the stuff you don't like or else be charged for the whole thing. There was one mistake on the item sheet that I noticed. They say they gave me a crossbody burgundy bag for 60 bucks, but instead I have this green fringed scarf. Well, we'll have to talk to them about that. <laughs> Out of the seven items, I think I wanna keep two of them. The faux suede black moto jacket, which I really, really liked. It's kind of stretchy. I think it's faux suede. I don't think it's real suede uh, based on the price. <laughs> and the also faux suede green infinity scarf with fringes on it. I don't know where all my scarves went. I think when I moved to Southern California, I put them somewhere and they're gone. So I, I wanna restart my scarf collection. I think a lot of the rest of the items were kind of like close but no cigar. The the jeans in general were just sort of like jeans that were similar to jeans I already have, so I didn't feel like keeping them. And as for the tops and the dress, they were cute and sort of my style in some ways, but mostly my problem with them was like fit and how they fell. Both of the tank tops just had a semi-looseness to them and ended at a weird place. It's just sort of like right at the hips. I have a shorter torso and longer legs, so like, maybe that's what's throwing it off. Maybe they're just looking at my height and kind of like dividing it in half. And with the dress, I just never seem to have any luck with that shapeless shift style because I'm pear shaped. So it always ends up cupping my butt. So like you don't have that cool, like loose, like casual look. It's a shift and then on the bottom, it's a badonk. So overall, I would say that Wantable did an okay job recommending me things. So next up, is our le tote box. Shall we see what's inside? Our tote, I mean, it's a box, but we can call it a tote. 
All right, so the first item is blue and stripy. It looks like it's a wrap cardigan. Next up, we've kind of got a gray, almost like workout tank top, followed by this Nike tank top, another workout item, interesting. And then we've got this black dress, Oh, just kidding, it's a jumpsuit. It's a black jumpsuit. They also threw in a couple of jewelry pieces, which are super cute, actually. Glitz, glam, bling. And then we've got this paisley dress. Oh, maxi dress. <laughs> and then the last item is this, which is a scarf. It's not an infinity scarf, but it's a scarf which is okay. So Latote sent me eight items with an average price of $37 per item. But keep in mind that these are not new items. You don't have to buy anything, but you can if you want to. Just keep in mind that you are still paying a monthly rental fee, no matter what. Out of eight items that they sent me, I really, really love this black jumpsuit and I think I'm gonna keep it. It is a little more formal than I usually go, but like I feel like if I were invited somewhere, I could wear this. I don't usually get invited places, but I could go in this. Emphasis on if. <laughs> if. So I was really impressed by the formal wear in this box, being the jumpsuit and the maxi dress and the jewelry, but the other stuff was kind of like random. Also, I wasn't that psyched about getting workout gear in a rental box. I feel like in general, I wouldn't want to rent my workout clothes just for everyone else's sake. I have quite a few tank tops that I work out in already and none of them smell very good. But of course you can, if you decide to do this, customize your tote more than I did. So you could sub some of the items out before they get to you. All right, so next up is my Stitch Fix box. Ta-da! Boom! So item number one is this black floral tank top. That's not what I thought it would be when I saw it folded up. And then we've got this stripy elbow patch sleeve sweater. And then this sort of like mauve open back top. This oatmeal colored cardigan? Cardigan, it's a cardigan. And then these blue jeans. Looks like sort of light to medium wash skinny jeans. So Stitch Fix sent me five items with an average price of $50 per item. And basically I have three days to send it back. I think I can delay it to five days, but after that they'll charge ya. So from this box, I would say that most of the items fit pretty well, except for the placement of the elbow patches on the elbow patch sweater. Oh wow, they're way off. This is like a tricep patch. So it doesn't seem like they took the turkey vulture very seriously. And overall, I thought the items were mostly cute, but not really me. Out of five things, the only thing I would really consider keeping would be this mauve long sleeve top with like a little bit of an open upper back. I actually think I see said that I don't like to show off my back, which I don't usually, but this open back is not like too, too open, so I don't really mind it. And in general, I love long sleeves and I like how soft it is. Feel me. Ooh. Yeah. Well, let's do that. The jeans weren't bad, but they just weren't really anything new. And I had the same cut problem with the tank top that I did with the tank tops in the wantable box. Where like, it just hits me like right at sort of the widest part of my hip. They can't account for your torso soft. It's just your lopsided Scandinavian legs. I'm too Scandy for them. I don't think you're ready for this Scandy. I think I'm just a little bit confused where like my style or like my answers to the quiz comes in with this box. And something that Stitch Fix had that none of the other companies had was access to my Instagram. Now, to be fair, I do sometimes Instagram random things for videos. So maybe it wasn't that helpful in terms of like getting my true personal style, but I don't think these items reflect my Instagram either. Unless they thought I would like a lengthy oatmeal cardigan because of this. And finally, Trunk Club. There seem to be a lot of items in here. So I think we should just get crack a lack and, and open it up. Holy carp, Batman. Oh, it's co it's opening this way. It's like pirate treasure. All right, let's open the shoes first. How about? Ooh. All right, these look like black over the knee boots. Ooh, and these are like gray sneakers. So this looks like a black and white striped top. And this is like a rose graphic crop top. And then we've got these kind of shiny jeans, this gray choker dress, these light wash jeans, and also these black jeans, a see-through long sleeve top, a velvet moto jacket, a romper, and a green bodycon midi dress. <sighs> All right, I'm a little sweaty after opening all those things up. Emily really did a number on this, huh? She was just like, 
have it all. So Trunk Club sent 12 items with an average price of $99 per item, but the three pairs of jeans do hike up the average price a lot. So if you don't take those into account, the average price is $70 per item. They also give you five days to try everything on and return it before they charge you. But if you want to return something after you get charged, you can either drop them off at Nordstrom or just send them back yourself. So you're not like super stuck with it if you accidentally forget to send it back. I think that the styling of this box was definitely the closest to my personal style out of all of the boxes I tried. I think Emily, the stylist, did a really good job of picking things that were both in my style arena, but also a little bit outside of the box, which I appreciated. So out of 12 items, I think I'm gonna keep four of them. These stripy long sleeve top with an asymmetric hem. It's kind of like Lady Beetlejuice. The knit choker dress. I don't go out like dancing a lot to the club, to the club, to the club, but I kind of want to keep it because I feel good in it. The see-through top. I like the ruffle right around the hand and also that you can barely see my hands. And the gray sneakers. Athleisure is what they say to me. Athleisure. I might have kept the moto jacket, but I had literally just gotten a moto jacket from Wantable, and that one was cheaper. I also really liked the light wash jeans, but the jeans in general were really pricey, so I had to pass on them. In fact, I think the only thing I didn't really like about this box was that the jeans were sneakily expensive. All right, so that was my style box haul. I don't think that I saved any time by doing this just because of the amount of like returning things you have to do and also keeping track of time, but I think in terms of giving me clothes I would like, Trunk Club is the only one that really nailed it. I think that the Latote and Stitch Fix boxes were the most random, though I will say that the Stitch Fix box that I got a year ago was better, so maybe it was just an off box. Wantable was kinda close-ish, but doubling back to their scarf bag mistake, they did give me the price difference back, so at least they fixed that. So after all this, I'm not sure that I would get another style box, just because I feel like it encourages lukewarm buying because the styling fee applies towards the purchase of one item and the stuff's already in your house. You might be inclined to keep something that you think is okay or you might wear, even if you would never like actually go out and buy it for yourself. So I'm not sure that this is actually a better use of money or time than actual shopping, but if I were to do one again, I think I would go with Trunk Club. Oh, and for the record, Emily didn't ghost me. She emailed me back and told me that she wasn't gonna send me a scarf because I lived in LA and it was too hot for one. So I think she likes me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. A big shout out to Harmony for watching. Thanks for watching Harmony. And I will see you guys a next time.